we're here in the cemetery of Moses Austin Grave Memorial. This is in uh, Potosi, Missouri. And actually, this is said to be the home of one of the biggest uh, murders that happened within Potosi city limits ever since 1870. Now, this town had the big murder with three people having their heads decapitated and shot uh, with three trespassers. Uh, now, the picture on, on the Wet Hunted website shows this area. Uh, this isn't the right spot just because of the fact that as you can see by the dates, uh, they're like 1950s, 1917. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where in the world this actually is. Uh, if anybody who watches this knows exactly where this is located, uh, I would appreciate it greatly. But this actually is an interesting uh, grave site uh, because it is actually one of the grave sites that's most famous in Potosi, right behind this uh, Presbyterian church that is um, right near the Moses Austin Memorial. Now, for those of you who don't know who o Moses Austin is, uh, Moses Austin was the founder in 1798 of Potosi and actually has a son who was a lot more famous, who was also known as the father of Texas, and his name was Stephen Austin. And so this here is the entire what, entire grave site. Like I said, I really wish I could figure out where the bodies are located that have been decapitated. Uh, it's also been said because of the fact that Moses Austin was moved here from a mining town initially, that he had um, pretty much been haunting this location. Um, I haven't seen any kind of weird activity, but that's okay uh, because this is actually a very interesting site. Now, settled in Potosi, this guy must have been pretty important. Bricky, John Bricky, 1755 to 1827, settled in Potosi in 1812. Looks like they spared no expense to be able to get him uh, situated. And so, there's some more grave sites over here. Uh, eventually, I'll do some more research on trying to figure out where exactly uh, these grave sites are located. Um, it's probably the most famous one in this church cemetery. But it's such a large cemetery, and I'm wondering if it might not be in that gated area over there and it looks like it was pretty well forgotten because it has a lot of um, overgrown plants as well as a gate that's basically wide open um, trying not to accidentally step over the graves but as you can see it's a very old cemetery and most of the dates go back to the early 1900s uh, late 1800s, some of them even back towards the early 1800s. Uh, so, what's fascinating about this is the fact that it, it's such an old cemetery and it's the most famous because of Moses Austin. Uh, so I'm trying to figure, again, pardon my lack of figuring out where this is. Uh, let's see, 1887, 1934, let's see. 73 years old. I cannot seem to figure where this is located exactly. As I said, the website kind of got it wrong. Uh, dates on the one that showed where they were supposed to be or where it was thought to be is not the correct area. So trying to work with this and you can work with me on trying to figure out where this is. Okay, this is a lot newer, 2004. Blount. Interesting that they have gates around some of these. It's like 
it was like a separate grave site at the time that became something. And let's see, 1947. Some of them are newer. Some of them are indeed newer. And some, some of them have some really nice graves too. Well, as I said, if people can figure out and tell me where exactly this is located, I would well appreciate where it is because I was very well misled on where this actually was. Uh, just know that it is actually one of the places in Potosi that's considered quite um, haunted. Uh, I still haven't found anything haunting about it. Uh, other than the fact there's a lot of bugs. But, yeah. So, uh, like 1990. Fascinating place. So, yeah, if you ever want to visit this location, it's located, don't get confused, there's two uh, Presbyterian churches. You're actually looking at the one that looks more kind of like that there then not so if you see that then you're in the right location uh, I, said I don't know 1906 that's a different grave site and 1941 interesting fact Potosi used to be a mining town that turned into a bigger city and it's about two hours south of of st louis so not a very big town i, I guess it's bigger than some but not a very big town and i think we're gonna be ending it right here because there's not much more you can see i still haven't found the 1870 date. Uh, like I said, if anybody who sees this video is able to identify where exactly they were located, I would be well appreciative. Thank you.